power panel and the new Apple Watch TikTok possibly turning into a case of too much information. It can act as a fitness tractor. It can give you all kinds of feedback like your heartbeat and a calorie tracker too. But studies are showing that people who wear these devices often feel overwhelmed by all the data they provide. So the result is these pricey gadgets can end up in your sock drawer, you know, it might be you, along with your Betamax and your Sony Walkman. What are those? Let's bring in our men's panel. Michael Parrish Dudell is an entrepreneur and the author of Shark Tank, Jumpstart Your Business. Dr. Mark Siegel is a professor of medicine at NYU's Langone Medical Center and an author and a member of our Fox News Medical Aid team. And Wendell Daniel is a tech expert and COO of Trident Case. Gentlemen, this is a men's power panel. I got to say, welcome. Great Thanks for being here. Yeah, You're wearing you your fitness tractor. How much did you burn walking from the door? No, I haven't checked my steps today, but I burn a lot every day. Living in New York City, we walk everywhere. And I got to say, I used to be 100 pounds heavier than I am now. And I'm not saying that this is what made me lose the weight, but accountability is crucial. And I absolutely love it. So Congratulations. I Thank you very that much. That is just very inspiring. Yeah. So Dr. Siegel, I want to ask you, I have been spinning since I saw you last because I'm out on the road shooting in different places and it's hard to find healthy food. So when I go to the gym, I want people to know out there and I get a report, which I check through the app of Flywheel where I spin. And it says, I, if we could put it up, if we have it, I burn 900 calories in an hour. How accurate are these reports from gyms when people go? They're not always totally accurate. Accurate and they're not always well calibrated, but I have to tell you, if you're doing 26 and a half miles per hour, which I think you are, you're in great shape, I think you could get up to 900 calories. It's incredible. I wish I was doing as well, and I'm training for a mountain bike ride. You are really in, in great shape. I actually like the trackers if they alarm, like the Apple Watch alarms when you've reached your goals. I like that idea. I like the idea that you could see how much you've been walking. Would it prevent you from having a heart attack? No. It can't prevent you from having a heart attack. Or knowing you're having a heart attack, and, and, maybe. And, 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 no, and, and, and to that point, I think maybe we rely on them too much. I think the exercise is what's key here. And the Apple Watch one doesn't tell you if you've had enough hours of sleep. That's really important. I'm an Olympic sleeper, so that is my <laughs> sport. <laughs> that, that is a great point. But I want to move on for one second because I wanted to ask you about something else, about diet sodas. Yes. Uh, as a business person, you know, they're going to take out aspartame. Yes. Some people like their aspartame. They might use another artificial sweetener. What do you think? I am not a fan of aspartame. When I first met my now wife, she probably drank seven or eight Diet Cokes a day. And that was one of my big pushes was to stop her from, from the intake of aspartame. Uh, I do believe, I'm certainly not a doctor like Dr. Siegel sitting here, but I, I think there are some negative consequences to to too much and personally I think it's a good idea. A lot of companies are taking out yeah. ingredients. A lot of food companies like macaroni and cheese yep. is not going to have the artificial color. Is it going to be the same if it doesn't have that wonderfully artificial orange color? You know, I think they have a big budget and they're going to be able to make it sort of taste the same. The question is will consumers respond? Transparency is key these days, especially with a younger generation, especially with a lot of these big brands. They're realizing that they can actually differentiate themselves if they go with a little more natural feel. So obviously with Pepsi, they're always competing with Coke. Is this going to be the differentiator that changes the game for them? That's the question. All right. And you don't, I, I got to go, but you don't want people to drink <laughs> diet soda at because all. Because it causes you to be hungry or you end up eating more. It tastes so good. It turns on hunger rather than turning it off. You gain weight. I have an addiction okay. to diet soda, so you, you, you got to help me. You should consult with Dr. Like Siegel during the break. <laughs> Thanks yeah, guys right. so much. Great to have you here. I want to